Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is having a good Sunday. Um, it's been a while since I actually came in here and uh, had a video for you guys. It's been a very, very busy past couple weeks, and I finally had a time to actually sit down and um, we'll be filming some videos for you guys. So I think for today we're going to have a SLG comparison between the Gucci Gigi Supreme key pouch versus the Louis Vuitton key pouch. I think they used to be key clays or they used to call them key clays and then they must have just recently changed their name so they're they're now key pouch. But uh, the reason why I wanted to do both of these is well A I have both of them in my collection and then B I know that whenever um people are actually thinking about getting this one right here. I know that these are kind of like the two most common ones that are people are thinking about. So I figured I'd go ahead and film one for you guys to see if it's going to um, help with your decision. Hopefully it will. I have a couple of things to say for both of these and then I'll let you guys know about which one I would prefer at the end of the video. So we'll talk about um, prices and dimension, materials, pros and cons, and then, uh, like I said, what I would prefer at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's talk about the, this one first. This is the, um, Gucci Gigi Supreme key pouch that I just unboxed recently. This is actually a Mother's Day gift from my husband. Um, so I unboxed it about two weeks ago and if you haven't seen that video go ahead and head to my channel and look for that one it's just a really quick unboxing about you know what it looked like from the boutique when we got it and then just kind of like overall kind of like first impressions really so this one is the Gigi Supreme key pouch at the time of filming which is May 2022, this guy is actually 340 US dollars. Um, if you have gone to the website, you probably have also seen that they have another version of it, which is the Ophidia key pouch. So it's it looks kind of like this one. The difference though is that the Ophidia had the textile lining in the middle, which is like the, I think they have two colors, but they have the green and red and then the blue and I can't remember the other one, but that one I think is a little bit more expensive. Shape wise, very similar. I think the Ophidia had a little bit of kind of like a, a curve in the middle. Um, and But shape wise and you know, kind of like how it feels, they're very similar. I think the difference is the zipper. That one had like pure gold um, zipper and then didn't have this little gold tab right here. Um, it's also canvas, had a trimming, I think. If you guys are interested in that, I'll go ahead and link that one down below. But anyway, that's also an option. This Supreme one came in this color, which I don't remember. I think it's like the canvas ebony brown. And then I think it also came in the black leather. I will link the website down below so that you guys can check both out. Anyway, this one is... $340 at the time of filming and then um, it is the uh, Gigi Supreme canvas with a brown leather trim. It has the zip closure with metal key hook which is this one right here. Um, I'm not familiar with the material. It is gold gold material but I'm not sure what kind of material it is if it's like brass or stainless or what it is I, I couldn't find the information on the website but there's that and then the, for the dimensions this one is 4.7 inches in length 2.75 inches in height and then 0.6 in diameter And then when you open it, it, had like a cloth interior. So it's got that 
Gucci made in Italy. Let's take this out. And then it's got the leather tab. I tried to like look as to what is actually in the tab. And I think it's uh, probably the serial number. And then it's got this little hook right here. But no inner pocket, no inner line, um, no inner pocket whatsoever. It's just a big compartment. Okay. All right. So that's the Gucci Gigi Supreme suitcase. Let's move on to this guy right here. Actually, I have I have two of them. I have the, um, this is the Louis Vuitton key pouch, it used to be key clay, and I have the Damier Ibn and the Damier Graffite, I believe. So technically this is um, under men's collection, but really it's, I use it too. I like it a lot as well. I like that it's not too bright, not too loud or anything like that. Not that this one is loud, but you know, if you want black, go for this one, and I like that little hardware right here it's a little bit also in the darker this one is like their classic dummy bin with a gold metal hardware okay so let's focus on this one right here so this one at the time of filming is actually 325 US dollars I don't remember anymore how much it was when I actually got it I want to say maybe 290 that was a few years ago so it had um, some price increase but it's not it's not a lot this one is the dummy event coated canvas with grained cowhide leather lining so canvas throughout and then when you open it the leather is actually inside okay and then this one has that zip closure and then it's got the keyring with um, hook so very similar to the other one the difference is if you guys have noticed this right here is actually a lot more um, dainty compared to the Gucci key key case so there's a big difference as far as like weight um, I feel like the deering on the Gucci one is a little bit heavier but the chain in itself they're both pretty light but if you can see this one is just a little bit more dainty this one is a little bit more you know not really loud but louder or bigger um, this one right here dimensions uh, two oh, 4.7 inches in length and 2.8 inches in height they didn't really list as far as like what the diameter is but just kind of like based on comparing these two you can tell that this one the Louis Vuitton is going it's a lot thinner okay all right, so let's go over some pros and cons and I guess what fits inside and then if there's like a pros and cons, we'll go over that too. So since I'm already holding this one, let's go over this one first. Um, I mainly use this for cards. I don't really have a lot of cash or I don't carry a lot of cash, although you can definitely put cash in here if you want to. Some people I know they use... Um, they use this as a little catch-all for their mini mini purses. I don't just because it's very small and there's not really a ton of stuff that you can fit in it. I mean, you can probably put a ponytail, a couple ponytails, like bobby pins, little hair pins, things like that. But it's not really going to fit a lot of, you know, your essentials like sanitizer, hand lotion, um, those kind of things but I, I'll show you guys later just so that you can see. So when I use this one, it's mainly for cards. I don't really put any keys or anything like that. I don't attach them here. Although if you want to, you definitely could. So I'm just gonna show you this one right here. So this is my key fob. And if you 
want to just use this one you can hook that the the d-ring also is really simple you just pull down and then pull out that way and then you close like that and then if you want to put it there so i also actually have a sleeve on mine so it makes it a lot thicker but it's really bulky. I don't recommend using it like that. I know some people have used it just kind of like this. So they have the key fob kind of hanging out and then you can definitely put a lot more stuff in there. That's definitely an option. And then you put this in your purse, right? I don't particularly do that just because I have the six key ring holder, which, is, which houses my key fob and my house keys and other keys too. So this one, it just kind of like I don't really use it um, okay so let's open this up right here um, I have a couple of cards or several cards not a couple because I don't know you guys might have a lot of cards and you want to you know see how much it can fit and I don't know how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Can we fit all 17 cards in here? I don't know. I guess we'll figure out. We'll find out. Um, <laughs> it's definitely a tight squeeze. But you can. I don't recommend it. It will close and it still maintains that thinness. If you really want to although that's just all cards right um, it's a little bit of a hard hard close and hard open when you do that so let's see one two three four five what if you have 12 cards and that you can close that pretty easily um, of course the ring has to stay outside for you to actually close that if you have to do this one you can i tend to not do that because i don't like anything like poking the canvas although this one it's not really showing so you can do that so 12 cards comfortably um i think when i was trying it out a while ago you can definitely comfortably put 15 if you really want to think yeah so you can do that um, I think depending also on the I don't want to say the style because they're the same but I know that this one for sure it's a little bit bigger I know that I can fit all 17 cards in here pretty comfortably when I was playing around with it And it closes really good. So this might be just a little bit hair bigger compared to this one. Although I don't see why that would be the case. Because they're the same exact thing. It's just different color. But just FYI. Um, okay. So let's say that you carry some cash with you. I get a couple of cash here. Let's see. One. Let's do that. You can probably put. One, two, three, four, five. So say five cards. And then you can put cash in there too. The only thing though is when you put cash, you have to actually triple fold it so that it would fit inside perfectly. And that fits just fine. You can put coins in here. You can put a lot of like stuff so you know you can really do whatever you want with it it's just you have to be mindful about how many you're putting because it's not really the biggest thing right but you can definitely put cash in there you can fold it like that and it'll fit and you can even add more cards too so with that cash six seven eight Nine, ten. Yeah, ten cards comfortably. It's still fine. All right. 
Um, what else? So can we put, um, actually, I'm going to of these right here so these are usually what goes into my catch-all which is my um, I use my mini pochette for that one if you want to put bobby pins along with some cards you can you can even put like a lip balm that would fit although really when you do that it tends to warp it and I hate that you can even put this it will fit it's just I think you're not really maximizing the amount of space and this one too. I don't know why you would do that, but hey, just in case it fits, but there's not really a ton of stuff that you're gonna be able to fit afterwards, okay? All right, so there's that for that guy. Let's go ahead and move on to the Gucci. All right, so this is the Gucci, and then let's go ahead and see what we can fit in here and how much compared to the Louis Vuitton. So we'll put this guys to the side, right? And then can we fit all 17 cards in there if we really need to? Let's see. Okay, so with this one, you have to kind of play around with it a little bit it's definitely a lot harder to put just because even though it looks bigger from the outside it looks thicker what really makes it a lot harder to put stuff inside is this one right here the leather tab definitely gets in the way and I think the fact that this one has textile or cloth lining um, makes it like it takes up some space so even though it looks bigger on the outside this actually can fit less than this one so you can definitely fit cards but you have to put it one at a time i don't think you can put put all 17 cards in there so give me one second all right i'm back sorry about that so let's see if we are to put cards let's see one two three four five five cards that you want to put in here put it on that side and then one two three four five can it fit honestly i'm not sure if it will fit I have to do it one by one. Okay. And then that one. So I have 10 cards in there. And you can fit. It's the zipper also, it's not as smooth as the Louis Vuitton one. I don't know if it's just because it's new, but it's definitely not. It's not hard. It's just not as smooth especially the, the damier graffiti one okay so there's 10 cards in there can you put anything else you can probably put this one right here and that would still zip it's a little so you have there's a little bit of work around that you need to do but it can fit like that I probably wouldn't put more than 10 cards in here just because I know that it's probably going to be pretty tight as far as the spacing and you're not gonna you can't you won't be able to take the cards out pretty quickly all right so you can definitely put cash in here a couple of cards um can you put this one if you want to and this one yeah you can close that so the good thing about this is because it's already pretty thick to begin with um you can put stuff a little bit easier and it doesn't feel like the canvas is going to kind of poke out easier i think it's because it's also it's because of that cloth lining so it definitely has a little bit more protection which is good 
but um, yeah, it doesn't look too odd or warp like the Louis Vuitton one. You can take that out. You can definitely, can you put this here? You can, what about this one? Eh, doesn't fit. You can definitely put eye drops and these and then maybe be pin or two. Yeah, that works. I think that's a waste of SLG though, but hey, if you really need to use it for that, you can. All right, so those are all the stuff. Actually, you know what? I forgot this one. You can actually use this. Kind of show you how if you want to so this is a little bit of a different mechanism so you pull and then you twist you insert that right there and you can still put this right here and it would still close again it would be bulky but it's not doesn't feel like it's poking the canvas too much so that's an option all right, so let's see, pros and cons. Let's start with this one right here. Um, pros, the canvas feels really thick. And when I was looking at the material, it's a thick canvas from their website says microfiber fabric. Don't really know. I guess it's just like the canvas itself is made of microfiber um, versus this one right here their canvas it's plain woven fabric um do they feel different i feel like this one feels a little bit more i don't say plasticky but that's kind of like compared to this one this feels a little bit more plasticky this one feels like it's almost like leather if you don't know the difference um else so this one is bulkier compared to this one right here this can fit despite the bulkiness this can fit a little bit less the Gucci can fit a little bit less compared to the Louis Vuitton key pouch uh, it is more expensive by a little bit this one is $340 this one is $325 at the time of filming which is May 2022 um, to me personally, I don't like the chains on this because it's loudy. It's like loudier compared to this one. This one is more dainty. I like anything dainty. Um, also when you are comparing, so when every, like when you put everything in there and you're comparing the Louis Vuitton one is just definitely a lot more thin, like on the thinner side. So it doesn't add a lot of bulkiness to your little purses so I mainly use small purses now I really don't like to use a lot of like big ones so it's important that I maximize my space so there's that um let's see what else cons for this one right here I feel like there's not really a ton because even the pricing I mean obviously when we're talking about luxury everything in luxury is expensive right um but it's not too bad compared to everything else in the I, I guess at least it's not bad compared to every some of the stuff that you can get from their website um, the only thing that I could think of as far as like con for this one is what I notice with the brass hardware of Louis Vuitton eventually in time the hardware and I don't know if it's gonna focus the hardware is going to um, start to tarnish this one has some tarnishing in that. I don't know if you guys can see, but the tarnishing on this is a little bit more um, apparent. You can actually see that right there. And then like that. So I don't know. It's not, it, is, it doesn't bother me. And there is a ton of stuff that you can also buy to decrease the, the tarnishing on the item so to me that's not really a con there's not really a ton of cons that I can think for this I like the size of it it's still my favorite 
key pouch, key clay, whatever you want to call it. Um, I use it for a lot of things. I think I use this majority of the time, like 90% of the time. And the only time that I would not use this one is if I have my um, compact wallet that I can put all the cards in. Otherwise, I use this a lot. Uh, this one right here, it's new, so I can't really speak as to will it tarnish. I'm not really sure. I only have a couple of Gucci and they don't have the um, gold hardware on them so I can't speak for that tarnishing so I can't really tell but yeah um, cons it feels pretty no cons it, it's definitely bulkier it's a lot it's a little bit more expensive it's a little bit bigger uh, pros it feels really sturdy it's very subtle, I guess, if you don't know. I mean, it's not like Gucci, big Gucci there. But although if you know your brand, you know your brand, right? Um, it's subtle. I like the color. Some people might say it's like grandma color. I know when I was younger, I'd look at it and be like, that looks like what my grandma would wear. But hey, our tastes change as we grow older, right? And that's okay. Um, anything else? I think that's it. Those are the only things that I have to say about these two if you guys have any questions you know what to do you leave a comment down below and i'll try to get to them um, if there's anything that you want to see in the next video or the future videos please let me know and if you like this kind of videos don't forget to like and subscribe okay all right well that's all i have for these two items right here if there's anything else that you want me to um, review in the near future in the next videos please comment down below if um, there's anything that you want to see if you like this kind of kinds of videos please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video have a good one bye bye